Welcome to Right Brain Affairs. And we're presenting today one of our faves, and that's making big old toes and hands from clay for gnomes. Oh, you may have noticed we had a stalemate, and that's resolved. I'll go on with that later toward the end of the video. First is the supply list. I'm cutting out a heart. You can hold the clay toes. This is a knockoff clay, by the way. It's not really sculpty, but I'm using their directions in baking it. And you can make four toes, five toes, three toes, whatever you like. Scrunch the old clay down on that heart. Mold it really tight in there. Now I'm cutting nice little level, sort of evenly toes and rounding them. The problem with knockoff clay is that it gets very soft under the heat of your hands. So I use a tool trying to make sure that we look like toes, rounding them up with little toenails this time. I had in mind, I'm making a male gnome. So his toes are gonna to be a little ugly. I'm also one of those artists that most of the time, I like to just give the feeling of the thing, not necessarily get detailed. So we're doing toenails and then we'll do some toe hair. And I like to make sure that everything's sealed, but you can always hot glue, glue them down on your heart. There's the little knuckles, little toe hair for him, and rounding it out as best I can, and to make sure that it's just giving that impression. Here we go, making hands the same way, a little larger. On the gnome body, you can make a five-fingered hand. I'm gonna make it four-fingered hand. Start off with a couple evenly sized balls and then I turn them into ovals with some shape. The fingers get thinner. And then we go ahead and, by the way, my shirt that I was wearing at the time is where I think this gnome got the idea to have a conflict with me. We'll get more into that later. We've already done one hand onto the right. This hand will and I'm gonna make it bend, and I'll show you where that is. Have also knuckles, hairy knuckles, and fingernails, and so there's the three main fingers, and it's got its thumb, and I'm using just a, I think it came with a kid's Play-Doh kit, that little cutter deal. Smoothing them down as best I can, but from the heat of my hand, as I said, this knockoff stuff, the dupe stuff, does stick. Now, since I had decided it was a male, right, and the toes were all hairy, I'm doing the same thing with the fingers. We're making some knuckles and letting the clay kind of be up in the air, making fingernails and setting him up so that he, in this case, with the left hand can hold something. I've rounded his palm. Pretty easy, especially if you're not trying to be perfect or detailed. You say a female gnome, maybe you wouldn't want the bulgy, ugly knuckles with hair. Maybe you'd want him smooth little fingers. Here's the inside of the palm. And since I can't use my own hands because they right away take off the clay, I'm using tools, making a big hole in the bottom of the hand for the wire that's going to be there. It's the other part of making sure these attach well. Here comes the knuckles and the little hairiness. And next, we're gonna go on to attaching them. I did not actually do the arms in this video. This is a fast video. And I'm talking about the conflict again. Here's what the arms started out as. Wires from a flower and then socks. Instead, you can find that video and it's under the same name. We're attaching though, you attach the hand where we made the hole. I baked this you know, dupe polymer clay at whatever it said to bake, Sculptia, and they came out fine. And then I'm not only attaching it to the wire, I attach it to the clothing or the end of the arm cloth. And then the feet, we've done the same. I've wrinkled up so it looks like we've got a bit of a skirt uh, since I wanted him to be kind of wizardly and a lot of hot glue there holding down until it cures and setting the arms up and all of a sudden I'm told this is not a he this is a she and since I let my 
gnomes have personalities. We're having a conflict. We had a conflict. I wanted to make a male. No problem with girls. I make them all the time. But male gnomes are easily recognized. Okay. She wins. She's a hairy fingered toad female. And she's determined to be as pretty as she possibly can. She put this in here. And then she wants me to go ahead and polish. So I'm obeying my gnome. <laughs> or my subconscious mind, or my unconscious, or my creative self, whichever. She really wanted to be female. And so here we are. The nail polish I use, by the way, is a temperature changer. And for some reason that was important also. If you hold on to them, one of those toes, it'll go pink. <laughs> Not purple. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. And we'll be doing some more. We'll do the longer version in a bit. And then we'll be doing some more fun videos and some serious ones too. This is Right Brain Affairs and Taylor.